What's up guys? This is Rafa with Rafa Racing. First of all, thank you for watching. Uh, I am here today to tell you all about my Senna. Three things that I hate about it, three things that I like about it. There's not really anything to hate, but for the sake of finding and nitpicking little things, um, I've chosen three things that I actually dislike about the car. Pretty much love everything about it. Just the overall look itself, I absolutely love. But to choose something from the look, my favorite part is that that wing. That wing is largest wing that I've seen, at least on a, on a road car. The one thing that as a driver, I don't actually get to enjoy is how it moves around as you're driving, particularly on the track. I don't actually get to see the wing. It's incredible how big that wing is and how much downforce it actually provides. Next thing that I absolutely love about the car, outside of the main body, everything else is pretty much carbon, exposed carbon. The paint has a nice little metallic shimmer that goes really well with the gloss of the, uh, of the carbon and the way that it actually marries up with the interior of the car. So the interior car is very much like the exterior where pretty much everything outside of the Alcantara is uh, carbon. Carbon on the dash, on the steering wheel, on the uh, center console, the doors, pretty much everything is. Those are the few things that I like from the looks of the car. And then the one thing that obviously I would probably say I love the most is the absolute just brute performance that it is, the track monster that it is. I uh, haven't driven it at Coda, putting a, you know, a few hundred miles in the streets already, a couple thousand miles, um, and driving it out the track. Just that brute force that you feel when you drive the car, the uh, absolute power that you feel and, and everything about it. It's just an incredible machine. So I absolutely love the car. Now, if I wanted to pick a few things that I dislike about the car, obviously being a 1.2, $1.5 million car, it is a lot of you know a lot of money to pay for a car uh, it's worth every single penny of it i think it's actually an underappreciated car compared to what is out there in the market and what other cars are going for but at the end of the day you still have to write the check you still have to get rid of the money uh, the other thing that i would say that i probably dislike about the car the inconvenience of it just not being a daily drivable kind of car obviously it's a track focused car efficiencies are at play here in, in the design but it doesn't have a trunk can't really store anything it has a small little spot behind the seats where you can throw something back there, but then it's visible. You can't really leave anything in the car. Just looking at <laughs> um, the, the windows of it, you know, it's very inconvenient because the only thing that opens up is the small window. If you go through a drive through of any form, even going to valet or, or uh, a show or anywhere that you have to actually deal with the person on the outside, they have to be aware to go through the inside. You can't really hand anybody anything without opening the door. From a driving comfort standpoint, I would say, if you were to actually go on a road trip or, or really want to be on the phone when you're driving it, uh, that's another thing that the car itself is something that is just extremely loud. It makes all kinds of noises, some kinds of pops. Uh, I love it, I enjoy it. But if I needed to have a phone call, the person on the other end couldn't probably even hear me so. But in reality, I absolutely love the car. It's one of my favorites. Um, I actually think I like it more than I thought I did now that I own it, now that I've been driving it. Some of the things that make it really unique, I think, is the color combination. I haven't really seen that black and the red in the center. Um, the painted uh, pinstripe came from the factory. We added some of the logos for, for the club and, and, and the brand with, with our bolder, faster, refined logo or uh, slogan, I mean. Um, that, you know, it marries up really well with the rest of the car. One of the cool things that the car has which a lot of people ask is it has uh, the Barcelona Catalunya uh, track actually outlined and stitched onto the headrest. And obviously that's of significance because that was Aaron Senna's, one of his favorite tracks, the one that he won the most. It's an iconic track. There were some iconic races there. So having the outline of the track that is so symbolic and meaningful to him and the car um, is, is actually pretty special and pretty cool. I haven't seen it in any other set. I don't know how many of them elected that or if that was actually a, uh, a particular spec that the previous owner, this was a one owner car um, that I took it from. So they may have specifically asked for, for uh, that stitching pattern there. So the uh, wing itself, um, like I said, it was just a massive wing. It's impressive. It is, uh, it moves around as you're driving seven, eight feet wide, as wide as the car. The car is probably the widest car uh, out there. And the wing is some foot and a half wide here. Uh, so this is like a really wide wing and it's just an impressive wing. It sits a couple of feet off the, off the car. And the fact that it's very functional and it serves such a big purpose is huge. The uh, diffuser in the back with, with the matching paint, just all the lines outlined in the car, it really highlights just how big 
that that uh, diffuser is because from a distance maybe it will get lost because it's dark and and you can't see it but it is exposed carbon it has all the lines so just the overall look of the car the way it's designed laid out going from the wing to the front of the car we have the roof scoop it's a little small you know because you have the doors that open up it would get in the way even standing from here looking at the wing and just how aggressive and crazy that looks again from an experience of driving it it is like nothing else from the fact that when you start the car the buttons on the roof and that's where the push start is to the sitting position that those seats put you in the loudness how aggressive the car is and then just how incredible it, it drives and how much in control the car is how planted it is um, it is just an incredible machine all right so i'll show you a little bit about the inside of the car and just how cool the interior is the cabin of the car is just like nothing that i've ever been in just it, it just feels crazy so uh, when you get in you have these seats that are super thin so you might actually think that these seats aren't comfortable you barely feel any sort of pressure when you're sitting in them they hug your hips nicely so when you're on the track driving you feel safe and you don't slide around with the uh, little shoulder guards here so just the car is designed to sort of hold you in place and be lightweight uh, and they've somehow accomplished it with these really thin uh, padded uh, seats uh, another cool thing that the car has is just the way that the doors open um, it kind of creates a plenty of space for you to be able to get out it creates this crazy crazy look from the exterior and then the inside the glass the, the top of it is glass and um, and it opens up um, so it's very different than some of the other side opening type of doors um, and to that another thing that's unique is the way that it actually connects to the car so usually you would have the shock or the piston deal kind of connected to the bottom of uh, of the door closer to the ground so having it there at that angle allows the door to really push outward and uh, let you quite easily get in and out of the car uh, which being this low being this tight it actually um, is pretty easy to get in and out the other thing that i love about the car in the interior is the screen it's a big screen it's facing the driver it's accessible within hand reach you don't have to sit there and reach over like in some of the other cars that i have or that are out there where the screen is flat it's a little far away from you and when you're strapped down for example driving you can still tap the screen if you need to. Then you have the commands here up on the top, the push start button, the start engine button is actually right in the middle here, which is very unique. Um, I don't know that I know another car off the top of my head that actually has a push start at the top. The doors, actually these are your, um, your door uh, triggers here. So you actually don't have a door handle or anything to open the door with on the door itself. Obviously all the carbon, like I mentioned earlier, all the exposed carbon, everything that is not Alcantara is pretty much exposed carbon the wheel door jams here the door itself the door covers um, the car actually comes with a pretty decent nice sound system and if you're driving around you're gonna enjoy the engine sound and that's at least what i do so i love hearing the engine the pops the downshifts the upshifts the turbos all of that you know it's, it's just a quite a bit of experience here in this tight tight little cabin um, another cool thing that the car has which is not unique to senna's but it is for the new thing that mclaren's doing is the uh, dashboard and, and the display. It folds in when the car's turned off, it folds out when the car's on, and then when you put it in track or race mode, it actually folds back in. So once you start the car, you'll see that display slowly roll out, which just gives you that extra wow factor, that extra cool experience about the car. It doesn't have an actual cup holder. So, you know, those are some of the things that the car is what the car is. It's it's a track car. It's it's a road legal race car for all intents and purposes. All right, so that's pretty much it about the car, about the Senna. Um, hopefully, you guys got quite a bit of stuff out of it. You know, got to see it more in more detail up close and personal. Learn maybe a few things about the car itself. For those that don't know what the car is, hopefully you found it helpful. And again, if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to comment. Feel free to hit me direct. Uh, follow us on Instagram and uh, hit the subscribe button, the notifications on, so that anytime that we um, that we post any more of this car stuff that you know that you guys like, uh, you get to see it. And uh, hopefully, uh, you tell your friends and family. I appreciate all the comments and the support. And uh, thank you for watching.